My name's Louise Goodfield and I am the co-company director of Say It Again Sorry. Say It Again Sorry is an interactive theatre company that is on a mission to connect people to their inner artist. Easel Peasel is an interactive art experience that connects people to their inner artist, um, literally their inner painter. Hello! Hello. We need artists! So the premise is, is that a bunch of artists have left their artwork behind and the community must support us and help us to create those masterpieces um, ready for a grand exhibition. Um, so the onus was really um, to get people painting without necessarily thinking that it has to be good or um, it has to be a certain standard. A lot of people we get say that they can't paint and within a couple of minutes they're having a go and they're really enjoying it. So um, it's a bit of a theatre show, it's uh, interactive art, it's bonkers and it's just fun. It seemed like a really great opportunity to, to develop the Covid safe element of our show because Easel Peasel um, has been to festivals before um, and the interactive nature of it means that um, we have to reassure the public that you can still have interactive theatre and it be safe um, for people in a post-Covid era. So. I don't know if they will say yes. Oh, please! Please, with your earphones. We need your help! I have left all of my earphones at home. And we have an earphones. Oh, well it's a big old swim We need to make brown. We need to oh, get no, to that no, island. No. Swim oh, to the no. island. We oh, need this. Okay. Fires Ice. at the ready. Water at the ready. Paper at the ready. We need the paper. I've got it. A second. Ten. Nine. Nine. Any help here? Up Your Street is a really important project because of the last year everybody has been uh, forced to stay in their homes um, and this is a way I think to be outside um, to get creative everybody's kind of been creating privately in their homes um, and people may not have been able to speak to other people for a long time especially the elderly we also have um, a lot of families in this street as well um, and you know being forced into um, small confines as well in houses and things it's nice to do something a bit different especially during the last year with the pandemic that people kind of reintroduce themselves to each other and um, start getting creative in outside spaces and that's one thing that vehicle arts has really helped us to do is to uh, bring it to more people. Vehicle Arts have been amazing mentors and supporters and have enabled us to deliver this project. I'm Alison Carpenter Hughes. I'm a mixed media artist based in Leicester. I've, um, I've, I'm focusing mostly at the moment on free motion embroidery and using textiles as an art form. So um, my project for Up Your Street is uh, called Blooming Lovely, and um, I wanted something that was uh, colourful and joyful, uh, that would um, just yeah give people something a, a moment in time to stop and um, just, uh, yeah, just take a moment out of their day and uh, just enjoy the colour and um, I will hopefully, uh, you know, ins find inspiration from it as well. And I wanted to use the flowers almost as a kind of a paint palette. I've also been using lots of uh, different types of recycled materials um, and loads of people from um, the general Leicester community have been contributing things. I wanted to get involved in this project because uh, it seemed such an amazing idea. It was uh, the up the street uh, element, just being able to create something that was uh, fun and bright and um, uh, on a city street. I mean, I live on a really, really busy, noisy city street and um, it's, it's quite built up and it's um, yeah, just your average city street. Uh, to be able to add something uh, to it that um, you know, uh, brings colour and there's one lady up the road who's gone and uh, decorated her front window because she felt inspired by this. 
I think it's absolutely brilliant. The transformation from what it was originally to now is brilliant. It's been very colourful seeing her putting it all together. Um, and we've had every customer that comes in wondering what's going on. It's great for the street, it you know, obviously brightens it up. Yeah, we're well pleased with it. I think it's amazing. Um, it's a proper community project. Um, we've had a lot of people stop by. It's really got the neighbours talking as well. It's all together just talking because, you know, with lockdown and everything, everyone's been stuck in their houses. Vehicle arts, they've also given um, support right throughout the project. Um, uh, being able to kind of mentor you through it and, and give uh, things like you know health and safety advice and um, the um, you know just the kind of practicalities uh, that, that I wouldn't have dealt with before. Having someone there to kind of hold your hand through the project so that has that's been a really nice uh, thing to be involved in. I'm Andy Harper, I'm a digital artist um, based in the East Midlands in Loughborough. I'm, I'm currently interested in the, the kind of the dualities that are found between tech and nature. My project for Up Your Street is called Leavings. Um, so this is a, an interactive installation and it's been produced from litter um, collected from the local area. The project is it's really trying to emulate nature in every in every way. So it's it's growing slowly um, from the um, from the uh, you know, the base of the gutter all the way up my drain pipe, uh, and it's creeping its way up the house. The interactive element is um, that the there there are sounds that have been produced from um, you know the litter being kind of distorted, crumpled, and, you know, and manipulated. Um, uh, to produce a composition um, that can be played in, in sequence as you as you walk past the uh, piece um, and the sounds and, and the litter will evolve over the, the course of the month um, and, and change very slightly um, as, as time progresses hopefully uh, get people to look at their litter consumption I noticed some behaviours that started to, to, to happen um, as a result of lockdown, more people are going for walks um, in the countryside and, and litter seem to be growing in areas that you know, I've never seen it before. The benefit of having, of using a house as a, as a, as a gallery has been invaluable really over, over lockdown because the, the galleries are shut, the theatres are shut, the cinemas are shut, you know, the traditional forms that you kind of consume culture. Uh, are no longer there. Pretty much everybody that goes past my house looks at it, you know, they kind of do a double take. And, you know, I've had mixed mixed interest. Some people like it, some people aren't so keen on it. A rubbish house, yeah. yeah. Everyone seems to want to kind of stop and talk. And I've, I've had really good conversations with, I, I'd say pretty much everybody that's walked by that's kind of you know, that's engaged with me. And I've been trying to kind of break down the, the, the preconceptions that, you know, art needs to be pretentious. And I've just been having like real conversations with people. I had one guy that said he, he, he didn't even notice it was litter. He just saw the, 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 the pretty colors and, and it reminded him of something. And, and I said, that's great. That's your, that's your take on it. You've taken that home. Vehicle arts have been fantastic at just really kind of holding my hand with certain certain aspects. So they've been fantastic, and I think you know the the, the bigger picture for me is, is is genuinely want to raise awareness for uh, you know to, towards the environment, 